What is going on guys? My name is Doug or always on board. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to blur a face out or a uh, area of a video that you would like to hide such as text and so on. So this is Premiere Pro CS6. We're gonna get straight to the point here like I normally do and let's do this. So I have a video clip that's in the timeline already trimmed in perfectly the amount of video that I wanna show and the amount of video that I wanna blur. So it's a, pic or a video of me uh, doing the cinnamon challenge and I wanna blur just my face out. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that the video is duplicated uh, onto video two and we do that by clicking on video layer one holding op option or alt and then clicking and dragging that up and so now we have a duplicate of that and so we're going to put the effects onto video layer two so the next step is going over to effects and we need to search up a blur uh, so search blur and then i'm going to use gaussian blur so click and drag that onto video two and you don't see anything yet but if you go over here to effect controls you can see that the blurriness is at zero so you can bump that up a lot and then as you can see the edges aren't blurred so you just click on repeat edge pixels and what that does is it blurs out the rest, rest of the uh, the clip so the next thing that we need to do is we need to select the area of the face that we want to blur so we do that by clicking on command t or control t if you're on a on a pc and i'm going to name this blur so that i can find this in a little bit and so from here what we need to do is go over here to the ellipse tool and we can just click and if you drag this around it goes wherever you'd like it but if you want a perfect circle you click on shift and drag out it's a perfect circle or if you want to click shift and option or alt it uh, makes a perfect circle right from the point that you chose now a quick tip here is let go of the mouse before you let go of shift if not it'll mess the circle up so now that's perfect click out of that and we're going to go back to the projects where you found your video clip and drag that blur that you just made and drag it over the other two videos and I'm going to trim this down so it's the same length okay so at this point we have a circle over the face and we have a blur in the background but we're not blurring the face at this moment so that's what we need to do now so what we need to do is go to effects and we're going to search track mat click on track mat and drag it over to video 2 not the blur but to video 2 just like we did the first time and we're going to change that mat from none to video three so now the blur is right over the face and what we have to do now is we have to do basic uh, keyframing basic editing basically and uh, edit this to where it follows the face and we do that by we're on video two actually we're on we're going to click on blur video three and we go up here to where the blur is and we double click that so at this point we can move this blur wherever we would like to put it and so the basic uh, thing that you would do is start out from frame number zero or frame keyframe number actually frame zero and we're gonna put this on the face and as you click on the right uh, key on your uh, keyboard as you can see it goes up every time you click right it goes up a frame and back down uh, to the left it goes down and then a quick tip here just for tutorial sake and to save a lot of time is if you hold shift and hit right it goes up five so that saves a lot of time for editing so let's just go back to the beginning and we're gonna go over here to motion at the top and we're gonna click on the position keyframe and so now we have a keyframe here and we're gonna keyframe the rest of the video so that it matches the face so that it blurs the face the whole time so like I said shift right arrow and we're gonna move this over shift right arrow move this over and as you can see right here it has a little path of keyframe so that's motion right there that you can see so now that's how you know you're doing a little bit of keyframing so now you're doing it right so shift right key let's just keep moving this over and it's not gonna be perfect just because I'm trying to make it to where this video is not too long and it's just straight to the point yada yada so I'm almost done okay and obviously if you do frame by frame it's a perfect uh, edit so we're going to click out of it so you don't see all that uh, other stuff that you don't need to see and if you just hit the space bar and preview that it just blocks the face perfectly and let's say after you did all the editing you wanted to make this circle bigger all you have to do is click on the blur double click that and you go over here to the selection tool and you can actually bump this up a lot more um, and as you can see it, it previews over here so if I really wanted to do just that it actually shows you in real time so command Z to go back and there you go it's right over the face it's basically the exact same way you do it for when you just want to blur out a certain area like this so to go through these steps pretty quickly just to kind of go over what we just did um, you put the clip in you click on alter option click and drag that up so you can put some effects on it go over here to blur and then Gaussian blur we drag that over to the video 2 not video 1 we bump that blur up a lot uh, repeat edge so the whole thing's blurred out 
And with this, I'm going to actually hide this layer so that I can see this text real quick. Hit Command T, and we're gonna call this, I don't know, box. And then go over here to the actual uh, rectangle tool and click that over like that so that it blocks the text. Go over here to project, and drag that box over to the video. So as you can see, this actually covers the text if you wanna keep it like that, but I wouldn't, I would add this blur. So um, we already added the blur to layer two, so we just make the visibility uh, back on. And then what we need to do from here is search for track mat again, and then drag that on over to video two, and then change the mat from none to video three. And then as you can see, the, the gamer tags and stuff when you're playing is hidden. So let's say you wanna hide it, there you go. So that is just a basic tutorial of uh, just blurring someone's face or a certain part of a video. My name is Doug, or always on board. Uh, leaving feedback is uh, a great thing for me and it helps me for new tutorials in the future. So if you have anything that you wanna learn or you don't understand, uh, just go ahead and leave some feedback on that. Twitter is always on board, Facebook always on board. And check the description for Google Plus. And follow me on Instagram if you just want to look at pictures. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And make sure to watch the two videos at the end of this one. My name is Doug. We're always on board. And I'll talk to you guys later.